My name is Alexandra Yasjob. It's so nice to meet you. I'm happy for this opportunity to tell you a bit about myself and my family. My story started when I was born on March 6, 1897, in the village of Wallastroska, house number 15, Bresco, Poland. I was the baby of the family. My father Anthony Yasjob was born in 1851, in this same village. My mother Sofia Szertennik was born in 1862, in the same house number 15, Poland. This house is still lived in by our Szertennik family descendants. When my parents married in 1879, my mother was 11 years younger than my father. My mother passed away on July 25, 1900. My father, Antony, remarried Mariana Soa in 1901. He sadly passed four years later in 1905. I had five siblings. My eldest sister Anna was born in 1881. She married a Frank Pajdak and lived in West Virginia until her death. They had two children. Then, my only brother, John was born on June 6, 1882. He married Maria Soska. They had no children of their own. Antonina was born on March 10, 1886. She married Alexander Stasko in 1908 in Paromk, Poland. They came to the U.S. and settled in Cleveland, Ohio and had eight children. She is pictured here on the far left behind me, I am sitting down. Josepha was born on May 28, 1892. She married Joseph Malik in 1907 in Wallastroska. They immigrated to Cleveland, Ohio as well, and had two children, Helen Maria and Frank. They returned to Wallastroska to take care of the family land. Finally, my sister Catherine was born on August 9, 1894. Pictured here opposite of me on the left. She married Joseph Soska on July 7, 1913 and had six children. All my siblings were born in Wallastroska 15 in Brzesko, Poland. Upon my father's passing, I was entitled to two and a half acres of land. My guardian, Frank Malik, lent me the money to come to America, with my land as collateral. I was to repay the loan within three years. I immigrated to Cleveland, Ohio in 1913 at age 16 to stand up in my sister, Catherine's wedding. I then stayed with my sister and her husband. I was able to obtain work at a local store where I made up to 25 cents a week. It might seem like not much in today's world, but back then it was a blessing. I met and married Mr. Teddy Kowalski on September 15, 1920 in Cuyahoga County, Ohio. He was born in 1885, in Poland. He was 35 years old when we married, 12 years older than me. In 1921 Teddy and I had one son, Edward Alexander. I later married John Nalepa in 1926, at age 28, in Detroit. He was born in 1895, in Poland as well. He was 31 years old when we married, three years older than me. John had also been married once before, to Miss Marcy Anna Urbaniak. They had two children, Walter and Rosalia. Rose sadly passed at age 10 from meningitis. We had six children together, Helen, Edwin, Adolph, Jeanette, Dolores, and her twin Daniel, who sadly died at birth. After the death of my husband, John, in 1937, I lived in Detroit, Michigan with our children and Eddie and Wally. I proudly became a U.S. citizen in 1941. In 1944 an article was published in the local paper about me and my two sons, Wally and Eddie who had been serving in the war. We were all so very proud of them. I had 19 wonderful grandchildren. Starting with Wayne, David, Gail, Don, Chris, Michael, Joyce, Nancy, Ramey, and Sandy. Then came Karen, Tom, Mark, Sharon, Michelle, Scott. Eventually, 
came Marcy, and then Linda. I was lovingly known as Boucha to them all. Throughout the years I never forgot my family that remained in Wallastroska. Even after my brother John and sister Josepha passed, I remained in contact with my nieces Maria, on the left, and her husband Albin. Also Frank and his wife, Salomea, pictured here on the right. Adolf and myself would try to send packages to them whenever possible as times were very hard on the farm in the 1970s. Besides being a wonderful Polish cook in the kitchen, I enjoyed a variety of outside activities. I belonged to the UAW, the Ladies Auxiliary of the Polish Legion of American Veterans, PLAV, as well as being a member of the PNA, Polish National Alliance. In the 1960s, maybe the most fun was attending the Samitnik Club or better known as the Single Persons Club. My final resting place is next to my sons, Eddie and Adolf, at St. Hedwig Cemetery in Dearborn Heights, Michigan. I left my family to meet my Heavenly Father on December 26, 1984. I'm so glad I got to share my deep story with you. Thank you so much for watching and getting to know me better. Jean Dobry